YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to be ranking the Free Trust Crochet Hair that I've tried top to bottom. Now, I've done this video about three years ago, but since then, I've tried more Free Trust hair. I've retried some Free Trust hair. And so there has been some movement on this list. If you watch my channel regularly, you probably know how these hair are going to rake. So for you, you're just going to be like, yep, I knew that's where it was going to fall. I knew where it's going to fall. But for you guys who may be new, who may be right now in a beauty supply store, trying to figure out the store got all free trust because free trust is a heavily carried brand. You're in there, you're inundated. Man, there are rows and rows and rows of free trust crochet hair. I got you covered. I got your back. Now, these are the hair I've tried. If there are other free trust hair, you're like, well, what about this hair? That means I haven't tried it. If it's not on this list, it has not touched my hair. Also, I want to say these are all my opinion. Everything I always say in all my videos are my opinion. But I just want to preface that, that you may love some hair I hate. You may hate some hair I love. It's okay. Hair is subjective. But I'm going to give you my rationale why each hair falls where it does. And with the bottom, I've tried 13 crochet hair from the free trust line number 13 is that free trust cozy deep beautiful beautiful hair i think it's a nice hair i think it looks gorgeous i was in love with it taste pink a creator on this platform i think she had tried this hair I, if i'm remembering correctly she was the one who inspired me to try this hair looks gorgeous gives you that kind of Ba 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 boom like this hair I have in right now. This is human hair crochet. There's an install video for that. I'll link it up above. You've already seen it. It's got a ba 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 boom thing, but it's human hair. So it's you know, you can brush it, you can do all that stuff. It won't become super tangly like that cozy deep does. I think this is that cozy deep, probably. Or I can manipulate it in a way to mirror the cozy deep without the cozy deep hassles. I think that hair might work better, honestly, as a maybe micro braid type tree braids. A lot of crochet hair can be used as braids braiding hair and that's probably what it's kind of main purpose was before converting into the latch hook and the crochet method it might work better in those type of styles but as a complete and total crochet style i don't think you're going to get long lasting i think you're going to get a lot of tangles matting so i think beautiful beautiful hair would not recommend it for a crochet install style another hair i thought i was gonna have good luck with and i think again might be better for a micro tree braid like a braided style and this be the rest of the loose hair free trust aruba curl was just not I, it, it was too soft. Sometimes crochet hair, synthetic crochet hair can be too soft. And you guys know when I get a too soft hair, you are probably like, yeah, soft hair is great. Not in the synthetic world. In synthetic world, you do need something with a little rigidity to it. That hair was super, super soft. Looked good pillowy i mean i felt like i was sleeping on a pillow when i first installed it it was so like at that time it's probably my fifth or sixth crochet hair i wasn't deep into the game i think soft does not equal good in crochet hair it does not equal going to last for you soft usually for me ends up being like a lot of tangles a lot of tangling is gonna happen frizz is going to be a massive issue with that even if you apply some kind of mousse or hawaiian silk eats right you're just gonna have some problems with that i think there are better hair this is why this hair is 12 there are still others that are much much better number 11 that free trust hipster lock situation where you were supposed to twist your hair down apply the hair pull your hair through it was a swing and a miss it was a good concept not a great execution on it or maybe not a great execution for us DIYers everything I do I do myself and I want hair that works well for myself like if it could be done by a professional and probably done much better I'm well then that's great but like what I want is a hair that I can do myself and still have great success with and that was a concept that didn't work well for me like especially you know in the back you can't see you want to make sure you're pulling things through you might need a little bit of help it was a hair I don't see a lot of people talking about nowadays anyway, so I think maybe Free Trust gave that dream on up. Number 10, that Free Trust Sulfur Curl. I wanted to love it so bad. And so many of you guys still comment on that video and say you really like it. That's, again, an example of how I may like a hair, you may hate it, you may love a hair, I may not like it. For me, it was the issue of the bigness. It was too big for me. I like a big hair. You're probably like, Leah, but I've seen you with plenty of big hair. That hair was super big, and it had a feeling of it that I just was not agreeing with. It was the bigness and the feeling of it that only allowed me to wear it for one week. I only wore that hair one week because if it's a hair i'm not vibing with and i don't feel confident in it why would i want to continue to wear it for the for the views no i live a regular life i need to be outside and if i'm not outside in a hair that i feel comfortable in i just didn't feel comfortable it was just too much too big it wasn't 
the hair from the natural volume line that you'll see in a minute. I'll talk about another hair from the natural volume line that I don't think had those same issues. But natural volume line from Free Trust, again, it's not as soft as that Aruba Curl at all, which is fine with me. I'm okay with the feel of that. I just don't like the bigness of it. It was just not a good hair for me. Number nine, the Free Trust Mazo Curl. Middle of the row hair for me. I didn't necessarily hate the hair from a, this is the worst hair I've ever had. I did take that hair with me last year when I went to Paris and London. It photographed very beautiful. I think it was a beautiful, nice hair. It just gave me a little bit of fuss on vacation. You guys know I like to have no fuss. I like to have no issues. I like to not deal with hair per se when I'm on vacation and all of that. So it, it wasn't the best travel selection for me. Looked good in photos. So photos wise I love my pictures from them and those experiences that I have but overall if you want to hear that you're not gonna I had to pull my little baby scissors out you know I bring my little baby scissors in my carry-on I had to pull that out and had to do a lot of like okay cut and frizz cut and frizz cut and frizz running my fingers through it the detangling process on it I mean the strands are so thin sometimes I thought I was gonna get a paper cut running my fingers through that hair maybe would have liked this if it had some of the natural volume fibers in it like if it was kind of the baby between soulful curl and mazel curl had kind of merged together and not been like that wiry I think is the word I'm I'm looking for next to here I retried I can't remember if it was 23 or 2022 I think it might have been 2022 that was a top hair for me for so long that was the very first crochet hair I ever tried when I was like you in a store seven years ago when I started this channel and I was deciding what hair I was going to get I went with free trust deep twist because I heard a lot of good things about that hair and so it had a high ranking on my my list but some of you guys were like try it again just give it a go again maybe hindsight having tried maybe 30 40 hair past that point how do you feel right now I still feel like it's a number eight hair again the worse hair than it I think it's still pretty solid but there are much better hair out there it was water friendly when I first tried it I thought it was really good the first time I turned this camera on. I think I was going to the Bahamas. I hadn't gone to the Bahamas yet. Maybe I combed. I can't remember. Whenever the video came live, I think I hadn't gone yet. So I turned this camera on in June of 2016 or July of 2016. And I'm like, I'm about to go on vacation with this hair. I came back, really still love the hair. And that's what continued on this path and this journey of this channel. But hindsight, I think that there are even better non-free dress hair. I think I love the look. I still love the curl pattern. I think it gives voluminous. I think it's better than Aruba if you're trying to debate between you like the curl pattern because I think the Aruba curl pattern and the deep twist curl pattern look very similar to me, but I had two different experiences. If you're debating, hey, I still want to have the look of this, go deep twist over Aruba a hundred times over. Don't even think about Aruba. Number seven, the free trust springlet wand curl. A lot of you guys love it. I don't think there's anything wrong with hair. I just don't think it's my look. It's my vibe. You guys know the bouncy curls aren't my vibe, but I don't think it's going to be a bad hair. I don't think you're going to have issues. I don't think you're going to have the same detangling problems, all of that. I think you're going to have a good time. It's just for me, the, the length of it. I like a good, what's my, what's my length? 14, 16, this is 18 inches on me right now. 18 is probably my, my highest point. 20, 20, I like a good 20, but I usually cut it up at some point. So it ends up being 16, 14 anyway. So 14, 16, 18 is my good spot. The ringlet, it looks too curly on me. Sometimes I think it might... Sometimes I think it makes me look younger. Sometimes it makes me look older. It just doesn't look. I don't see myself in a in a ringlet, whether that's sensational Jamaican bounce, any of the Jamaican bounce hairs. I don't see me in the mirror. So I think that's my only issue. Not a bad hair, just a personal relationship I have with that hair that doesn't align with me. Next, the Free Trust Go-Go Curl. I like it, but I think it's a go-go. Go-Go on go-go, like an Amazon go-go curl that I tried. What was it, last year, the year before last? I was like, a go-go curl gonna go-go curl. It's, it's gonna give you what you need. It's going to look really good. I'm not gonna be like your six, seven, eight weeks, but gonna give you maybe a good four weeks. I think that Free Trust go-go curl is gonna be good. Number five, you know I love the Free Trust Water Wave hair. I mean, what can you say? It's not bad. It's not going to give you fuss. It's going to be water-friendly, active-friendly. It's going to be like it's an overall recommended hair. Like, it's not going to be bad. It can't go wrong. There's nothing it can do that could go wrong. A lot of people now use Water Wave for passion twists and things of that nature. So Water Wave is a very popular hair outside of crochet hair. Like, when I was trying it, it was not a passion twist thing. But now you got the Free Trust Water Waves that are like 26 booty down 
length. I'm talking about like a normal length uh, water wave, not the water waves they use for the passion twist nowadays that have gotten extremely long. I think Keep It Short, I wore water wave long. While originally when I put it in, it was long. I came to my senses at the like appropriate length water wave was good. I'm in the same vein at that Free Trust Bohemian Brain. Again, that's the reason I have this channel. If you know the backstory, my best friend had the Free Trust Bohemian Braid in. I saw it. I was like, yes, but I didn't want to try the exact same hair. So that's why I went with the deep twist, but it was her signature style. I finally got around to trying it a couple years later once I was like, okay, I don't want to look like twins. You know, if you and your friend having the same exact hair with crochet hair, it's a little less forgiving because we look exactly the same. If you put in the same crochet style that your friend do, there's no way to varietize that situation. Y'all are going to look like twinsies. So when she stopped wearing Bohemian Braid, I picked up Bohemian Braid. I put it on. It was giving me a vibe. Like, I was loving it. Water-friendly, active-friendly, all the same thing I'd say about the Water Wave. Water Wave might be the only difference I can see betwixt the two of them. I think Bohemian might be a little loose. Like, if this is the tight tightness, it might be like a a centimeter a less than a centimeter of looseness to it but they look very similar of course we're in top three territory right now the free trust presto curl may be a hair that i have to retry not in this year because i know my lineup of 2024 i know what hair i'm going to try probably all of 2024 but maybe 2025 i'll give free trust presto a, a try again it's always ranked high because i think i had a good experience it was a hair i was able to revitalize my revitalization video of that hair um did well well numbers wise that I like the hair after I revitalized it so the fact that I had to revitalize it though makes me wonder was it like medium maintenance because it's not no maintenance you had to do something to it again my relationship with free trust press though it has historically always been higher but I'm like, was Free Trust Presto or Go Go? If you guys want to see me like do maybe a merger, maybe I like will do Free Trust Presto and Go Go in one head style just to kind of see. But Presto is high on my list. I really enjoy Presto, but again, I'm going back looking at six years ago, knowing that I have other hair from other brands that I think might be better than Free Trust Presto. So, but I'm feel strongly about my top two, and we're in my top two category now. Number two, Free Trust Joyful Curl gorgeous amazing beautiful hair i think it is if you're in the store and you're trying to debate between joyful soulful joyful soulful joyful soulful joy that's a hard especially for a girl with a lisp joyful soulful joyful soulful um if you're trying to debate i'd say go joyful soulful for me it's just bigger i don't think i had the same volume issues with soulful as i did joyful with joyful as i did soulful again i don't think i had the same volume issues that i had with soulful that i did with joyful i think it looked appropriate to my head it tailored my head really well it wasn't as big it was water friendly active friendly overall really low low maintenance didn't have to do much with that hair and it's going to give you a good i think a good time with that hair top you already know you already knew what it was going to be it's that free dress beat curl hair I think it hits in all the categories. We're not even just talking about water friendly because it is water friendly. We're not even just talking active friendly because it is active friendly. We're talking about looks category as well. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, nice looking hair as well. Something that will look good on a vacation, on a beach, on just normal day to day life as well. I think that hair hits all the categories. That was a retry for me. I tried it back in what, 2017, so six seven it's been almost seven years because i think i tried that in 2017 maybe 2018 i liked it at the time i tried it you guys were like i you got it i love it i love it i love it it's my highest rated individual review like i don't think i have a review video that has done better than free trust beach curl and i'm like what in the world let me retry this because i liked it but I was like, you know when somebody liked something and you liked it, but maybe not to the level you like. Say you tried a food and they were like, this the best food I ever had. And you were like, it was good to me. Like, I liked it. But I don't know best food I ever had range. So I was like, let me go back. Let me give it a fresh thing ready to go either way. Because I could have been like, I don't like this. I don't know what y'all talk about. But I really did enjoy it. You guys were not wrong. So many people can't be wrong. If it's that many people, it can't be that wrong on a hair. But overall, the retry was a great idea. Thank you guys for that recommendation because I loved it. So overall, that has been my ranking of the free trust hair that I've tried. Are there any that you feel like should be rearranged? Are there any that I should try? Again, I know all the hair I'm trying in 2024, but if I need to be trying something in 2025, let me know the free trust hair that is not kind of like a bouncy curl. Some people have... 
commented more like ringlet wand type curls. I ain't trying no more of those type things. I know how I feel about that looks wise. But are there any other free dress hair that I need to probably slay in for a 2025 try or retry? Let me know down below. As well as while you're down there, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't. We want all the love and support over here on this channel. As well as we want you to subscribe so you don't miss anything. As well as have that notification bell on so you're assured that you don't miss anything. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeahLevine89 to keep up with my shenanigans in real time. TikTok at LeahLevine, which is a few more shenanigans and a bit more real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.